Assalamu alaikum. Today I'll be reading a short story to help you improve your English reading and speaking skills. Follow along as we read together. Pause the video at any time to repeat sentences, practice your pronunciation, and to answer the questions at the end of each paragraph. إذا شعرتم إن السرعة بطيئة جدا، يمكنكم تعديل سرعة التشغيل من خلال الإعدادات على يوتيوب. فقط اضغطوا على أيقونة الإعدادات ثم اختاروا سرعة التشغيل. Okay, let's get started. A new neighborhood. Ella sat in the back seat of her family's car, watching familiar streets fade away. She'd lived in her old neighborhood her entire life, and the thought of moving made her feel both nervous and excited. Her new home was across town, and she wondered what it would be like. Would the kids be friendly? What would her new school be like? As the car turned onto a tree-lined street, Ella's mom pointed to a brick house with a red door. This is our new home, she said cheerfully. 1. How did Ella feel about moving to a new neighborhood? Answer. She felt both nervous and excited about the change. 2. What did Ella's mom point out to her as they arrived? Answer. Ella's mom pointed to their new home, a brick house with a red door. After unpacking a few boxes in her new room, Ella decided to explore the neighborhood. She put on her sneakers and stepped outside, breathing in the fresh scent of pine trees. As she walked down the sidewalk, she spotted kids playing on a playground at the end of the street, laughing, swinging, and chasing each other. Ella hesitated, unsure whether to join, but curiosity pushed her forward. Taking a deep breath, she walked over, hoping to find a new friend among the cheerful crowd. 3. What did Ella notice as she explored her new neighborhood? Answer. She noticed a group of kids playing on a playground at the end of 
the street. Four. How did Ella feel about approaching the kids at the playground? Answer. She felt a bit hesitant, but was curious and hopeful to make new friends. At the playground, a girl with curly hair noticed Ella and waved her over. Hi. I'm Mia," she called. Ella smiled and introduced herself, feeling more at ease. Mia introduced her to the group, and they invited her to join a game of tag. As they laughed and ran together, Ella's nerves faded. The kids were friendly, and she realized that maybe this new neighborhood wouldn't be so scary after all. They even. Made plans to meet at the playground again the next day. Five. Who was the first person to introduce themselves to Ella? Answer. A girl named Mia was the first. To introduce herself. Six. How did Ella feel after playing with her new friends? Answer. She no longer felt nervous about the new neighborhood. That evening, as Ella helped her parents unpack. She felt excited about her new home. She told them about Mia and her friends, and they were happy to see her adjusting so well. Ella knew she'd miss her old neighborhood, but the day had shown her that change could be good. She looked forward to the next day's adventures with her new friends, and felt. Grateful for the warm welcome. Her new neighborhood was already starting to feel like home. Seven. How did Ella feel about her new home by the end of the? Day. Answer. She felt excited and more comfortable seeing it as a place she could call home. Eight. What did Ella learn about change from her first day in? The new neighborhood. Answer. She learned that change could be good. 
Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and share, and don't forget to subscribe to Muhammad Ali English. Thank you, goodbye, see you.